Hey, it's Lisa from Kitchen Witch Boutique. It is June 13th, 2022. And I am out here with my friend here. This is a horse farm in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Before I could even get the camera on, he came running over because he sees my treats. So I brought my friend here some carrots, which he seems to be pretty excited about. Hey, buddy. Hey, you want some carrots? Yes, my baby. He's a beautiful horse. There, now I've got a wider end on him. There's another horse over there. But it's really interesting because a couple of days ago, or maybe it was yesterday, I can't, my days run together. It's just what it is. Um, I happened to be pet sitting and came past a horse farm. And at the time I was like, where's the lesson in this? And then today I realized it was St. Anthony's feast day. St. Anthony is Papa Legba in voodoo. Uh, I think he's Legba Rada. He's really loving these carrots. Wait, wait till you get the mints. Yeah, I, get, I brought some starlight mints also because they horses like mints for some reason, but I just realized I have to take them out of the package first. <laughs> so I'm like, oh shit. So, um, you know, as I woke up this morning, this is Yarrow. You want to try that? Oh, okay. He's, 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 oh, okay. That's a, that's a hell no. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, love. That's kind of funny because for whatever reason, um, I read that horses like Yarrow, but I'm going to, that was a spit out like hell the no. Here you go. You want the carrots? You can have the carrots, love. Here you go, baby. Oh, I know. Yeah. Okay, my love. Yeah, so anyway, so um, one of the things that has kind of, you know, come to my attention is, of course, in voodoo, the horse, as they say, is the servitor or the person who's serving the loa or the spirits. Um, generally, it's an ungan or a mambo. I can't believe he spread that yard around like that. Okay. Um, you know, it could be anybody. Papa Legba, of course, um, is the gatekeeper of the ceremonies. He is he is associated with the sun. He's he is the gatekeeper. He's associated with Saint Anthony, Saint Lazarus, also Saint Peter's or Peter, excuse me. And um, it's kind of funny because I realized that tomorrow is a full moon in Sagittarius. So of course, like in my brain, I'm like, okay, dude, like. <laughs> I think this horse is not getting fed. I'm sorry about the Yarrow baby. I'm so sorry. Um, in my brain, all right, I'm gonna throw a couple of these out here because he's he's like all about it. Okay, you ready? Go, fetch, fetch, throw over there, fetch. Look, check this out. He's like, dude, you just threw them in the horse shit. Yeah. Okay, look, fetch, fetch, no, fetch, no. Okay, all right, fine, it's all good. Anyway, um, so tomorrow's a full moon in Sagittarius. It's a super moon. Okay, so I was all like, what's with the Sagittarius? Because I don't, I don't really understand astrology that much. Like, it's just, I kind of get it, but I don't, whatever. And what Spirit said to me was, Orion was, excuse me, Sagittarius is associated with Orion. Uh, the constellation is associated with um, Achilles. Achilles, the warrior from the Trojan War. Um, the Yarrow, which I tried to feed to the horse, and the horse was so not having it. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh my god, like, it's just, ugh. Yeah, he doesn't care. He's just, he's all about the carrots. Um, Achilles was one of the heroes of the Trojan War. Um, he was basically, you know, if anybody knows the story, I'm a Greek mythology geek. Like, it was, you know, Helen of Troy was kidnapped by Paris. You know, it all started with the golden apple. There was a goddess of discord named Eris who threw the golden apple and challenges the three goddesses and said, um, dude, he's like insatiable with these carrots. Okay, I, there's another horse over there, dude. Don't eat them all. All right, man. Sure. So um, basically there was a goddess named Eris who threw a golden apple in the midst of a wedding and said to Paris, um, now you pick which goddess is the prettiest, which again, that's, that's a losing proposition right there. Like that's kind of like saying to your man, who do you think is prettier? It's like you put him in like a no win. So essentially um, he picked Aphrodite who basically promised him the most beautiful maiden in the world, which was Helena Troy, created a huge big thing. Boom, boom, you know, major Trojan War. Okay, don't, lift a, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. He's all right, but you know what? Here, just, just, just take them. Here, just, just, all right. <laughs> like, I feel bad. Like there's another horse over there, but he's just, he's so all over it. 
But um, what they were saying is that Sagittarius is representative of Chiron. Chiron in Greek mythology was the wounded healer. He was a centaur, half man, half horse. Chiron was the teacher of Achilles. So, you know, Achilles, here we're getting to the point, Achilles' mother was the head of the, don't exactly know what they were called, but the water spirits. Her name was Thetis, as in Theta waves. Yeah, Theta waves, uh, Theta brain waves. She dipped Achilles in the river Styx, held him by his Achilles tendon, and you know, theoretically, she dipped him in yarrow. Yarrow, as an herb, I'd really like to pick that up right now, but I'm not putting my hand in there, thank you, um, makes, is a strong herb for protection. You know, and right now, we're dealing with a lot of energies that are just, people are just being shitty, okay? And I hate to, like, say the same thing over and over again. Look at this, he's so, can I have a kiss for feeding you all these crazy Dude, a client gave me these carrots I was gonna eat them with my hummus, but you can have them. But um, so basically the you know the energies of this Sagittarius moon are gonna be insane. Like I've been feeling it the last few days. But what spirit wanted me to say is that this shit is gonna pass, okay? Like there's a lot of things that are coming to the surface um as far as Chiron and basically they're talking about like the wounds that are coming to the surface are just stuff that people, that was like carrot juice in my eye. They're, they're basically stuff that people need to deal with. So this Sag moon is going to bring a lot of surprises. Sagittarius is a very, it, it's a fire sign, but it's also the sign of temperance, the temperance card. Okay. Like it's the sign of the, you know, your mistakes and the things that you need to change are going to be shown to you. Okay, this is a major, I'm sure like anybody who follows YouTube or whatever, spirituality, this is ego death where, you know, people are coming to you and saying, you need to change this, you need to change this, you need to change this. Okay, it's discouraging. I get it. Okay, like it's, it's frustrating, it's frustrating, it's maddening, you know, it's been, you know, we're in like, we're starting to be in the dog days of summer over here, even at this beautiful farm. I get it. But what Spirit wanted me to tell you is at, reach out, ask Papa Legba, ask St. Anthony of, can't say it right, Padua, whatever, you know, the St. Anthony that's in the brown, you know, that guy, you know, walked with Jesus, yeah. Ask him for help. Okay, because he's associated with St. Francis. St. Francis, you know, is the patron saint of animals. I mean, look at this guy. Like, what, what are the chances that I'm going to pass a horse farm? I haven't seen horses in years. What are the chances I'm going to pass a horse farm, you know, when I'm taking care of, like, dogs and cats and stuff? That's Papa Legba. You know, Papa Legba is associated with dogs, like, you know, and the horse you know, as they said to me, is a vehicle for transportation. They said, you know, I was like listening to, you know, I was meditating last night. They said the horse carries man from point A to point B. The rider, did, look at him, he's like trying to rip that bag open. The rider and the horse become as one. You know, the rider has to trust the horse that the horse is not going to throw him. And the horse has to trust the rider that the rider is not going to hurt him. You know, and this is another thing, you know, I'm a big Doors fan, okay? And Jim Morrison has a song, I think it's called this, The Soft Parade, and it's like, we'll, we'll whip the horse's eyes. And I'm like, what the fuck, Jim? Like, I was like, Jimbo, like, what? yo, Lizard King, like, what's up with that? Well, it was basically a reference to Nietzsche, who went mad when he saw someone abusing a horse. Oh, are you trying to get up? Oh, no apples up there. I'm sorry, my love. So basically the message for today is try to, he almost tried to bite my finger. Try to live your life in harmony because it's all around you. You know, there is much to be learned from creatures like this beautiful guy who is down there trying to find the last bit of carrots, you know, and just being in this place. You know, just know that whatever is going on in your life, you know, whatever is, you know, spirit. It's like, you know, my first video on horse magic. I was like, what's going on with the horses? 
horses, by the way, are also associated with Poseidon, the god of the sea in Greek mythology. Know that it's going to pass. It's going to pass. And I know when you're going through it at the time, you think, Jesus, God, you know, it's never going to, whatever. It's going to pass. See, oh, he just, he just, oh, look at you. He's so handsome. So, thank you so much for listening to me talk. It's a little difficult today because I basically had my hand in a horse's mouth the whole time. But I love you. I, you bobo. Blessed be. Everybody have a wonderful day and happy full moon. Amen.